Hey guys, Fear 880 and we're going to make this a really quick um, how to or how to not buy a boat. And behind me is a, a 21 foot hurricane or 22 foot hurricane deck boat. Um, you always hear about check the boat out, check the boat out, check the boat out and possibly even hire a marine mechanic to check the boat out. Um, when buying a boat or a jet ski, this can be your saving grace right here and it's basically a compression gauge tester that you can get at your local auto, auto parts store. This is a more pricier one uh, gauge setup, but it actually is, I've had this for about 10 or 15 years. But I wanna show you behind me what my friend Scott ran into um, on his recent purchase on Craigslist. As you can see, overall, it's not a bad looking boat. Um, now these seats, he did have the seats recovered. The hour meter shows 311 hours. Nice looking trailer, nice looking boat. And it's got the, uh, it's got the Mercruiser 4.3 uh, standard rotation motor. Now engine. When he first bought the boat, basically there was some issues with the idling and the uh, the owner ran the boat on the hose. Guys, I can't stress it enough, never buy a boat or a jet ski on a hose. If you can, have the owner take it to the lake for you and demonstrate it out on the lake because sometimes you can take some serious chances. It'll save you several thousands of dollars as well. Jet ski will run perfect on the out of the water, but you'll notice if one is having problems, you'll notice it when you put it in the lake. But basically he was, uh, it was running a little rough, possibly needed a tune up on the hose. Took it home, paid the guy, and let me show you what's uh, let me show you what it ended up being. Three mechanics later, one mechanic told him, actually two mechanics told him that the uh, carburetor needed to be rebuilt. The bellows also needed to be completely replaced because it was taken on water once he did get it to the lake. But it's got a hole in cylinder number three. Let me see if I can show you that hole real quick. Shot of the you're like right on it almost like touching it I don't know if you're too close or... it looks, is it, I'm not looking at the top of the piston maybe yeah. yeah I'm just seeing one part of it. a compression check would have immediately um, found this problem because doing a compression check on number three we've got zero psi on the compression gauge another mechanic basically told him he had an air leak um, leaking from a possible cracked head or a uh, cracked intake or something like that which I mean nine times out of ten if you've got something cracked it's a cracked block or it's a cracked manifold or you've got a blown head gasket but a simple check with the compression gauge or something like that would have possibly noted this problem or paying the hundred hundred fifty dollars to have a qualified marine mechanic check the boat out before you purchase it now he's out about three thousand dollars of what it's going to cost to replace this 4.3 because if he's got a hole in the piston it, i mean yes you could rebuild the long block but honestly the easiest way to fix this is just to drop another motor in this thing so guys thanks again for watching my videos again this is just a really really quick video on um my buddy scott i mean this is a disaster i mean because i mean he paid $7,500 for this boat only to come home with a bad motor after talking to three separate mechanics. Mechanics are very busy right now and, and guys uh, if you're a mechanic watching this there's several of y'all that are very reputable out there and I high five y'all all day long but there's a few, few shade tree out there that just try to get away with anything. So please and I can't stress it enough if the boat's not running right on the hose or you've got a, just a something don't feel right pay a qualified marine mechanic to check it out or something or if you have access to it get a compression gauge tester test everything out before you hand that cash over so you don't get taken advantage of guys thanks again for watching my videos click subscribe or like around here and we will see you soon